let's see what's coming your way and we do have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands, a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And Ace of Wands is a new beginning, a passionate new beginning with a fire sign. Sorry guys, I'm back. Yeah, I have to mute the mic from time to time because I have still have this cough. So I'll, but I'll be fine, I know. Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups, are you kidding me, Pisces? You have and the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So that is a fire sign out there who loves you, Pisces. Feminine energy, but can be masculine energy. You know how it goes, right? Quite emotional and quite passionate. Three of Pentacles, they want to build a life with you. Three of Pentacles, they want to be your solid partner. Have a house, a home together, children, family. Nine of Wands. Wow, quite determined, quite perseverant. Hurt, but, but perseverant. Nine of Wands is I am not giving up. I might be full of bandages. I might be in self-protective mode, but I am not giving up. <laughs> That's a Nine of Wands energy. So Pisces, you do have the Devil, um, Capricorn energy, and you do have the Empress. And you do have the fall. You are so in trouble. Um, because when the, the devil is in your overall energy, we are all in trouble, actually. <laughs> it's a matter of the whole universe being in trouble. I'm just kidding. Because can can simply be a Capricorn. And, um, you know, they might be the father of your children, the mother of your children. We do have uh, the Empress here. And we have the fall. So either we are restarting the clock. Um, and we take a leap of faith and we go back to this person and um, we decide to give it a chance. We don't have the world. I honestly believe it's over. Um, somebody is over from a connection that can be either with a Capricorn or uh, toxic or both um, because it's like, you know, um, you know, just the, the universe to make sure we get the memo. We do have the last card of the Major Arcana. Uh, with the first one, the fool with the world. So. so I'm just saying, something is over for you, Pisces. Some, something is over. And it was good because the Empress is here, right? You gave everything to this person. I do believe because it's overall energy. Uh, if you were to ask them, they would say the same, right? I gave you everything. You, you are my everything. That's the Empress, you know? Uh, the energy of children, of, of family, the energy of stability, you know, uh, uh, being there 100%. But then the devil got in between. So so let's see, Pisces, past energy is on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's see the current energies. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's see, current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And you have the Empress again, swear to God, Pisces. That is the mother of your children, the father of your children. That is somebody of, of significance here. It can be a mom, a very concerned mom. Um, who knows, by your side saying, you know what, I am going to be here for you. You better let the bastard go or something like that, you know. Because, you know what, somebody, I'm going to show you at the bottom of the decade of swords, we are bound to a situation that involves either the mother of your children, the father of your children. You feel like in a mental prison, you don't see a way out. I don't know if you want to escape or not. You are also blindfolded, right? There is something that you don't see. And yet new beginnings are coming for you or you are probably already there. And somebody, some help is here for some of you. We'll see how it goes. Can goes in, can go sorry, in, in so many ways. Uh, so Pisces past energies, we do have the Two of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, right? Um, I, I probably it's cycles. We'll we'll see how this one. But again, it's the energy of crossroads. It's the energy in the past you had to make choices and I feel that you, you've made choices with a desire to compromise. That's the Ace of Pentacles. With a desire to be kind, with a desire to balance the scales, with an offer on your hands, but still you had to make that choice to abundance. We'll see if um, 
it was you ending a cycle with this person because so far it's like um you know at some point um the devil energy in this commitment uh, you know became too much and um, because the two of wands is I'm, I'm gonna choose a new path for myself you know i cannot stay in this that this is the energy i'm hearing it more i cannot say i have to make a choice and you made one again from the place of kindness and uh, and generosity um this is also the combination of energy saying that you chose a new beginning um something else somebody else someone new or simply a path that was um you know completely different and it's not interesting the person you are dealing with they have the eight of cups and the ace of wands this is the energy of them walking away for a new passion or because you know uh, they might have um, had new endeavors this is somebody the energy of somebody working uh far from home traveling to work from home to to for their uh, job right but honestly how i feel and that's so interesting because you have ace of pentacles on your side they have ace of wands you have two of wands choosing a path they have eight of cups does look like a mutual kind of agreement that this connection should uh, you know you should maybe step back and, and walk away for a while um I don't know if somebody intervened. Honestly, the overall energy does look like a mom or parent, somebody in a position of authority, somebody who's involved, you know, um, stepped in and said, you know, for the love of God, you know. Um, and it's a, you both walked away from each other in some way. Of course, can be emotionally walking away. Eight of Cups is emotional distance also. Um, this no longer fulfills me, so I need something else. And yet there was an ace of pentacles and an ace of wands on the table. There was a new beginning there. You know, maybe you walked away for a new beginning with somebody else. And the whole world of betrayal between the two of you in the past. Maybe you had somebody on the side and they had somebody on the side, honestly. Maybe you walked away for two different new beginnings here. And this reading is screaming new beginnings. We do have the world and the full endings, new beginnings and new beginnings in the past. And they came with a lot of sacrifice, ten of swords, right? A lot of betrayal, a lot of mind games, a lot of backstabbing and pain. And the nine of pentacles, being single was a hustle for both of you, right? Or becoming single or disconnecting from whatever commitment you guys had and family with the empress. I do believe I'm picking up energy of family. It was a hustle to be single again or let go of this but in the same time you had something beautiful on your hands and they had something beautiful on their hands um where are we right now pisces we um have the six of cups energy we long for this person this is memories of love this is remembering the time and the wheel of fortune we are going with the flow we are emotional about it we long for their love we have we know they are our soulmate he or she right and it's a bond that's um, unbreakable, but we are going with the flow. Whatever the universe is uh, bringing to us, and it, it's bringing new beginnings, absolutely. But, um, you know, we are taking it. We are taking it. And um, it's the energy of contemplation in some way. It's the energy of, you know, the wisdom that comes after, you know. Uh, it's, um, we all can have, you know, very intense connections with people and then, and then when it boils down, right, we get the perspective and the wisdom and it comes with uh, uh, bittersweet uh, nuggets of, of, of wisdom and understanding, right? Um, this is how I feel, your energy on your side. It's like a lot of introspection and at the same time looking at the past from a good place, from a good place, a, a place of going with the flow, a place of allowing, you know, and, and staying with it in, in a way. Now, the person you are dealing with, uh, Pisces, probably it's a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, honestly. Um, we do have the Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess. They might be silent right now, but this is an energy of manifestation, of intuition, of spirituality, an energy of taking care, of standing still. Um, is the energy, in, I don't know, I don't know why it came to mind, for the love of God. Um, it kind of tells me, it, it, I don't know who this applies to, but this does look like the energy of the victim, you know. 
it's like Queen of Pentacles. I've been there. I gave a lot. I was present. I took care of. I took care of the house, the home, the kids, and all this. And the high priestess, you know, it's like, uh, and you should canonize me, right? And um, send me to the Pope uh, to make me a saint kind of energy. I don't know why I'm feeling this, honestly. I don't know. But when I see the high priestess, right, it's, um, it's the silence. And of course, <laughs> maybe my personal energy, I kind of hate silent treatment, but you know, in a sense that we can have mature conversations. And I'm sensing they are not, uh, you know, talking much with you. And the high priestess is the energy of, I, I know, you don't have to explain me. I know, you know, I know. Um, but again, it's the place of intuition and it speaks of the best part in us, the, uh, you know, the intuition and the ability, um, you know, to adapt and to adjust and to stay between the dark and the light. So it's a beautiful energy, High Priestess, but I don't know why I'm, with this combination of cards, is this um, energy of, um, of somebody playing the victim. I don't know why. This is what my spirit guides are saying to me, you know, it's like, look at me, I'm working and I'm here a saint, you know, <clears throat> and I should be rewarded for this. So, um, I don't know why. Mutual energy is between you and this person. Page of Pentacles. I love pages. This is the energy of wanting to communicate and Eight of Wands, wanting to get things moving. That is still an offer on the table, Pisces. If you, um, um, if you really want this person, they come with an offer and I'm sure you have one from a place of love. Six of Cups, you know they are your soulmate. You know you love them. And the Eight of Wands is the energy of passionate communication. So I believe a conversation is needed over here. Some explanations because there was silence and choices that were not expressed. There was acceptance of whatever the universe was bringing and allowing, but probably not a lot of exchanges. Um, and it's like two of wands and the eight of cups is like going in opposite directions, right? So it happened, it happened and not, not much was um, said. That's why I feel a need to communicate something here. Um... I don't know if you are setting boundaries right now. The Wheel of Fortune, see, she's kind of, um, you know, uh, putting a circle around her. So it's like, you know, you cannot, this is my bubble, my space. And even if you are emotional about it and you, you still have emotions for this person and love, this is quite the energy, right? If you look at the, um, the image of the card, it's like, you know, this is my bubble and I'm going to... I'm gonna stay in it for now. And they are like throwing their hands in the air and it's like, oh, please, Pisces, come on. You know, you are emotional. You are being emotional again, right? <laughs> Look at the card, it's like, you know, throwing her hands up in the air. Or him, I don't know, to, to she, but anyways. And it's like, are you done with emotions, please, you know? Let's be practical, that's the Queen of Pentacles. How about life? How about real life, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know. I feel funny. Um, and probably someone will say, well, there is nothing to laugh about. You are right. So moving forward, um, Pisces, what do we contemplate? We contemplate family and stability and happiness. Uh, we have the Two of Swords again. It's interesting. You have the Two of Wands in the past, Two of Swords moving forward. So this is about choices. I do believe you have something on your mind. Your idea is not quite... Um, uh, formed because the two of swords right the lady is blindfolded but we are thinking about the choice and it's ten of cups choosing happiness right uh, this is what you are contemplating i'm gonna have my blissful life i do deserve it i've worked for it and i say that because we always go back to the overall energy and the overall energy is we're gonna end something that doesn't feel right and we're gonna start a new beginning a more abundant one, a more solid one, and I'm going to choose my emperor, my empress, my emperor, and I'm going to choose my blissful life. So it is about a new beginnings on your side, that's for sure. No, and probably you still have emotions for this person, and from time to time we have the eight of wands energy, right? We, we might, um, we still feel the spark, right? And we have an offer of, you know, we're going to be friends, we're going to be this, we're going to be that, but um. Now, the person you are dealing with, they do have the Seven of Wands and the Lovers. So if you are wondering if they still love you, of course they do. This is Gemini energy. And by the way, this reading is screaming Taurus Virgo to Capricorn. I mean, all the way, 
all the way. And even the Empress, sometimes they say it's Venus. It's um, so it can be Libra, then it can be Taurus. So it can be an Earth sign. It's strong energy. But now I have Gemini, and Seven of Wands. Somebody is defensive, or maybe they still uh, want to fight for this love. Seven of Wands. Honestly, is the Seven of Wands is the energy of the bubble and putting limits and setting boundaries. So they might be telling you, well, if you come forward and if you come back. Well, guess what? You're going to have uh, guidelines and uh, you're going to have, uh, you know, regulations and you have, and I'm going to have a decree, you know, <laughs> um, I'm just saying, um, because it is a uh, setting boundaries and rules and, and guidelines and way to, right? Um, they might also be defensive, you know, they may also be fighting for this, but one thing is for sure, they love you, uh, Pisces. Let's see mutual energies. We do have the Temperance and the King of Cups. We do have Sagittarius energy and we do have the Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Your own energy. Um, I'm sensing the energy of compromise. Well, you show up here. So absolutely you have a big impact on the whole relationship with this person and the whole connection. This is an energy of love, but we do have also the Temperance, right? This is an energy of, you know, let's slow down a bit. Let's be patient about it. This is the energy of compromise. Um, it's a healing energy too, right? So um, maybe you healing from this has an impact on the whole connection. And I so feel, Pisces, that you are ready to start something new. And um, Ten of Cups is the energy of longing for happiness. And Two of Swords with the Ten of Cups, the energy of really thinking, you know what? For once, I just want to be happy, you know? Um, and honestly, the devil and the ten of swords, I mean, this was a piece of work, this, this connection that you have with somebody. And again, we have pages, you might have children with this person, ten of cups has children, you know, but it uh, might have been a hustle. Um, and even look at the beautiful energy of love, and yet it is paired with warrior kind of energy, right? Seven of one. So probably love was difficult. Um, I'm sensing energies of fighting combined with the energies of silent treatment, energies of walking away emotionally, which is silent treatment too. And then energies of fighting and then energy of backstabbing I'm going to show you. And so I kind of understand why you are here saying, you know what, I claim my new beginning. You know, it's screaming, the overall energy is I want abundance and happiness and new beginnings. And abundance can mean sleeping on the floor, but it's like, you know, a spiritual abundance of I have everything, I'm free, you know. So, yeah. Pisces, I hope you'll be courageous in all this, whatever you want to you wanna do. And I simply love the mutual energies um, between you two at the end of April because I do, I do love the compromise card, you know, the temperance. I do love the meeting the, the other person halfway, right? I don't believe in slamming the door and, um, you know, going away. I do believe that maturity and emotional maturity, the way we end the connection is very important. It has an impact on how we start the new one, has an impact on our way of seeing things, you know, and the, uh, the baggage that we carry from one relationship to another. So... Um, I kind of love this, honestly. And I love the maturity in it with the King of Cups, you know. So, I'm just saying. We need to be wise about And it's mutual energies, I believe at some point they will, um, you know, it's their energy too, right? So, and you can set the tone if the, um, the King of Cups here actually speaks of you taking the lead of this. And... Um, you know, ending something from a place of compromise and kindness and um, emotions. Well, it will set the tone and uh, they will follow suit, right? Usually it happens like this, but we'll see. Leading by example, right? So, um, let's ask for some guidance. We do have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, Pisces. You have a bond with this person. And we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. So that is that. I don't know if somebody is like uh, super religious and this is why we have, um, you know, uh, 
situations in this bond. We'll see. So we do have surrender to receiving support and love. Yeah, this is an ending and we need support and love. And probably that's why we get the Empress twice. Maybe that is a mom there showing up and helping you with the kids and stuff. I'm just saying, I don't know, it feels like a mom taking care of kids here while, you know, you kind of redo your life and, and look for happiness. So we do have allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Yeah, for some of you, it's kind of a, a red flag. We need help. Surrender your ego, Pisces. So we are looking at the situation from the wrong angle, probably. It says cultivate gratitude, be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. So whoever this applies to, we need to adjust just a little bit. Surrender to your intuition and we know Pisces has tons. So tune in to your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings or aha moments that come through to guide you. And Pisces, we do have surrender to complete healing. Yeah, we need to heal and move on, baby. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. And let's have one guardian angel, and then we say goodbye. This one is yours. And we do have Eight of Abundance. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Um... Do you have the Eight of Pentacles? No, you have the Eight of Wands. This is a time of learning and honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you, or educate yourself on the healing arts. Wow. Uh, this is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. I do believe you are guided to, um, right? To focus on your work on your whatever you create in your everyday life going to school having new skills something like that learn something new keep your mind busy like a tool right um, a tool to kind of overcome this uh, whatever this is and um Pisces this is all that I have for you guys you know I love you right I wish you nothing but the best as always please let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time Love you. Take care.